Grade 6 Math, number 10.12, Inequalities. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares two expressions using symbols less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. So as long as it uses one of those signs, it's an inequality, okay? A solution of an inequality is a value of a variable that makes the inequality true. x is greater than 3, so 4 is a solution because 4 is greater than 3 is a true statement. So inequalities may have more than one solution, and we can use a number line to show all of the solutions. An empty circle on the 3 shows that 3 is not a solution. But the other numbers on the number line in green are solutions. Even 3 and 1,000th is greater than 3. See? So even if it was 3.001, it would be greater than 3 by itself. See? Okay. The highest temperature ever recorded in Las Vegas was 117 degrees on July 19, 2005. Write and graph an inequality to show the temperature, T, in degrees Fahrenheit in Las Vegas in less than or equal to 117 degrees. So I'm going to write the inequality, the temperature, T, is, is the equal sign, less than or equal to, so we got X is less than or equal to 117 degrees. So there's our inequality, T equals X less than or equal to 117 degrees. Now we graph the solutions of the inequality on a number line. So here's 117 degrees and less because it's less than or equal to and because it's or equal to it includes the 117. So what we do is we fill in the dot on the 117. Now see on this one because 3 was not part of the answer we left it open. See? The empty circle showed it's not part of the solution because 3 is not greater than 3. See? So on this one, it did reach 117 degrees, but not any higher. So 117 is included by filling in the circle. See? Okay. The addition and subtraction properties of inequality say that we can add or subtract the same number on both sides of an inequality, and the inequality will still be true. So for example, 4 plus 3 is less than 8. And 4 plus 3 minus 3 is less than 8 minus 3. 4 plus 0 is less than 5, and 4 is less than 5. So what they're saying is that this 0 pair is making this a 4 and a 5. See? So by subtracting 3 from this side and subtracting 3 from this side, we're turning it from 4 plus 3 is less than 8 into 4 is less than 5. See? That's the addition and subtraction properties of inequalities. Okay, now the multiplication and division properties of inequalities. Okay, the multiplication and division properties of inequalities say that we can multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by the same positive number, and the inequality will still be true. So it's just like this one, but instead of adding or subtracting on either side to isolate a variable, it's saying to multiply or divide on either side, and we can isolate a variable, and that it'll stay true. So watch, here's what happens. If we have 2 times 4 is 8, we know that's greater than 6. We know that if we divide both sides by 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we divided both sides by 2, and it's still true. 4 is still bigger than 3, just like 8 is bigger than 6. See? So we can multiply or divide the same thing to each side, and it'll still end up becoming true. We can add or subtract the same thing to either side, and it'll still be true, okay? So this problem said solve and graph the inequality. So I used models to solve it. We've got x plus 2 is less than 6. So I drew a model of the inequality. I made a rectangle to represent the x, the variable, and then the little squares each represent 1. So here's my x and the 2, and then is less than this 6. Okay? Then, to isolate the variable to one side, the rectangle, what I did was the same thing to both sides. So I took away two squares, and I took away two squares. And what I was left with was my rectangle 
is, great, is less than the four squares, which means x is less than four, okay? I used models to do it. On a number line to graph it, x is less than four, so it could be 3.999, right? It's just not four. So I was able to go all the way up to the four, but not include the four, because the answer could be 3.999, like just under the four, it says it's less than four. So it could be this, see? That's why they circle the four and say it's anything even in between here, see? They're including in between the three and the four could be part of the answer. Just as long as it's not four itself, it could be three and a half, three and three fourths, three and seven eighths, three and nine sixteenths, right? But it just can't be four, okay. We can also just do math and use the inverse operation to solve and graph the inequality. So for this one, I've got x plus 4 is less than 9. So this said plus 4, so I minus 4 from each side. Minus 4, minus 4. That gave me x, because this is 0, that gave me x is less than 5. So x is less than 5. It could be right up to the 5, in between the 4 and 5, but it just can't be the 5. So I made it an open circle, because it excludes the 5, and I made it everything less than 5, see? Then on this one, it said x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 4. So because it said minus 3, I added 3 to each side, and that got the variable to it by itself, because that's our whole goal, is getting this variable off to one side by itself, and that left me with x is greater than or equal to 7. Now, because it's or equal to, that means it includes 7. So I filled in the dot on the 7 and made it greater than 7. See? So it's greater than and equal to 7. So it's a dark dot on the 7 going all the way up. See? Not that hard, okay? You can do inequalities. They're a lot like the... Um, equations that we were doing when we were isolating the variable to one side, right? That's why we did it. Every lesson builds up for the next lesson and it slowly, slowly gains your knowledge, see? Increases your knowledge. There's a reason behind each of my videos. If you skip them, you're going to miss something that I was trying to show you for the next video, okay? I hope you've got this. I hope you understand. We're going to move on to the next chapter and keep trying. I'll see you there. Bye.